Hello, this is Chuck from Michigan. Just want to update you on my uh, Pulsar XP and how things are coming along. Um, been working quite a bit on it lately. I uh, got my my landing gear in. Um, that that came out pretty good. Uh, got all the attachments in and uh, everything uh, looks pretty good. It fit good. Uh, no problems with it. Um, there's my little belly panel there that has to be put back in that's all cut and fit and uh, the manual calls for uh, pre-cured uh, strips to uh, lay that in. I don't know if you can see that with my camera or not but there's uh, some strips that that uh, will be laying in. I can't see my camera so I don't know if you see it or not but uh, anyhow that's all in. Got my vertical tail on um that's looking good i got I just pulled this peel ply off there so um you can see everything's looking good now the glass is, is doubled up because uh there's been a, a service letter that came out quite a while back i can show you a copy here um the way it reads is that reinforcement recommendations of the vertical stabilizer to the fuselage due to surface cracking. Um, I talked to Bob, our good buddy Bob, uh, about that, and he he said to um, put uh, the two inch glass in as the book calls for, and then lay another piece of three inch over it, and that'll spread the strain, uh, the strain that's on that vertical stabilizer. It'll it'll uh, spread it out over a wider area. So that's what I did. Um, everything else is going good. Uh, I'm working now on, on my rudder which is over there and uh, I, all I got so far is, is the hole drilled in the center. I laid it out, got everything fit. It's not epoxied yet but I, I need to uh, cut the slot where the hinge goes and put the hinge in there. Um, there is a uh, this uh, rudder hinge tube for some reason it's painted blue I don't know why it doesn't look like it's really a paint um, but uh, I know that's gonna have to be cleaned out because that gets all epoxied in but uh, I have not seen that before and I haven't read anything about it so I don't know what it's all about I did make this uh, little sanding tube to uh, sand out the, the radius in the back where the rudder fits um, that worked real good. I, I, it's probably hard to see in this video, but maybe if I get closer here, you can uh, see that the radius is all cut out where it's going to fit that uh, leading edge of the rudder will fit in there. And, uh, and then all the way up here, and I know there's a piece that has to be fit in there. It blocks out the top so water can't get in there. But other than that, everything's going good. Um, <laughs> A lot of areas that talks about using plastic uh, wrap or whatever for uh, in place of peel ply. Well, I got these, I don't know, they're like thousand foot rolls of this uh, plastic, uh, I think it's Chirovac material or something, I think it said on the box. But uh, that seems to work really good. That way I can spread it out on my bench and, uh, and it protects everything. There's my spars. Uh, they're still, the the rear spar still taped inside the uh, the main spar just like it came out of the crate um, but anyhow you've seen all these other tools or not tools but parts I have um, got everything I need all the parts are here there's my little oven I made uh, for preheating the epoxy most of the time I my shop is pretty warm so there there's nothing to uh, heating up my epoxy I uh, have it usually between 72 and 77 degrees so anyhow um, just want to update you talk to you later bye